Hello everyone, my name is Sister Amanda and this is Ask Sister. So I got a really interesting question about what I missed about my life before I became a sister. And it gave me like a lot to think about. One reason is I've been in the convent for so long now, it's almost hard to remember um, without just nostalgia what my life was like before I was a sister. Um, so to remember specifically, and I think a lot of it depends on the day, <laughs> depends on you know what mood I'm in. Um, people look at our lives and what they see is what we've given up, what we've left behind. And those things are real and they especially affect us early on in our religious life. And so if, I want to start with an example of how that affected me early on when I just entered the religious life. And I just left everything behind, you know, your family, your friends, your career, my car. <laughs> it's like, okay, whew, Lord, yeah, I did it. I, I, I left it all behind. You know, you, I felt so heroic <laughs> that I'd done that and I'd entered the convent. And within the first few days, the strangest things um, would come to my mind as something I missed. My jeans. Oh my goodness. Like, this was before the time of leggings and things. So, like, we wore jeans back in the, when I was outside long time ago and so I really miss my jeans and which is like weird I didn't expect that um, I miss being able to just like go out and get something I wanted to eat <laughs> like I didn't expect that that it's like okay my food is here at the table and I get to eat it and it's like gosh I'd love some french fries like right now <laughs> and I just I can't get them I'm here in the convent and so things like that these little tiny daily things were really the ones that hit me hard. I think more just because I didn't expect it. And you, you think more about those big things that you've given up. I think later on in religious life, maybe those big things do kind of come back. And I think it's real and I think it's honest and I think it's um, just part of life and part of being a human being. Um, that it has to be a sacrifice. Otherwise, what would be the point of it? If I'd never wanted to have a husband or never felt you know, drawn to married life, um, you know, might I not have realized my vocation to the religious life to give that up? Something like having my own children, things like that that we have left behind that are very real. And if I'd never had the desire to have my own children or to have my own house and decorate it and all those sort of normal things, um, then it would take away something of the life I'm living now. There's a deep joy of the life that I'm living now partly because I've set those things aside and the sort of difficulty or just the challenge I guess of really leaving them behind is what gives so much meaning to the life I'm living now and I hope that makes sense it's kind of complicated but um, if I could use an example it's like any athlete right who, who's training uh, okay when I was in dance I couldn't just you know eat as much as I wanted I had to sort of keep healthy and keep active and keep you know able to keep dancing and so I had to like sacrifice some some time some of my you know favorite foods maybe uh, in order to be the dancer I wanted to be and again it's not that those things were bad that I was giving up I was giving them up for a reason and so but did I miss them well yeah I guess so but not as much as what I was giving them up for right so that I feel the pinch of it sometimes of you know not just doing my own thing, of sort of not um, yeah doing what I feel like or just you know having that sort of freedom, you know that vow of obedience um, takes that away from us that I can't just you know go do what I want, and yet what it gives me is the freedom to know that what I'm doing is good, what I'm doing is um, beneficial and worthwhile because it's what God is asking me to do and it has some value in it in and of itself just because I'm doing it out of obedience and so that's just such a beautiful thing that yeah I've given up my freedom for that and it's worth it you know maybe I might miss it but it's still worth it and so yeah jeans french fries <laughs> doing my own thing um those things are going to be there I'm going to miss them um, even the thing of not having my own husband, not having of my own house, it is going to be something real that I get to, to deal with, that I get to process, that I get to face. And by doing that, 
that's what gives the value and the worthwhileness of the life I'm living now. So um, I guess I'd also encourage people to not look at us and feel sorry for us. I think some people do. They see all the things we've given up and they think, gosh, I couldn't live that life. And, that, and that's okay, you're not meant to, and that's okay. Um, but I want you, what I, what I hope you do see is that everything we've given up has been almost selfish in a way because we've received so much more in return. What we've given up has been for a reason and what we've received in return has just made it like 300 gazillion percent better. <laughs> this is Sister Amanda. God bless you.